Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. 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 Oh, it's good you're here, sir. What are you up to now, Cratchit? Nothing, sir. I was just wondering, you know, since it's Christmas... Go on. Can I please leave a little earlier today? Humbug! First you want Christmas Day off, and now you want to go home a little earlier today? What's next? Are you going to hit me to the ground and rob me? Not at all, sir. It's just that I have to do some Christmas shopping. I'm sure you understand. Oh, all right then. But I expect to see you bright and early Monday morning. And do not forget to finish the budget. I won't. Thank you, Mrs. Scrooge. Merry Christmas. Humble. Recognize an old friend. In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. But you're dead. I got you buried myself. A funeral, I see, is cheaper than a proper one. But I'm not here for bitter reasons. I'm here to warn you. Uh, are you in pain? I feel the pain I've caused others in life. And you will too, Ebenezer Scrooge. But the pain you have caused was this intense seven Christmas nights ago. And they become worse every year. Your actions in life determine your burdens in the afterlife. But I'm here to offer you a chance to escape this fate. You will be visited by three ghosts. Expect the first tonight at the stroke of one. And the second at the stroke of two. And the third one will appear in its own good time. Listen to what I told you, Ebenezer, and you may still escape a fate worse than mine. Beware, Ebenezer Scrooge. Humbug. That's what it is. It's humbug. Hmm. 
like they thought. No spirit. Ebenezer. Who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. So I wasn't dreaming. Why have you come here, spirit? I have come here to show you some of the defining moments of your life. Where are we, spirit? What, what happened? Does it not seem familiar, Ebenezer? It... It does. My old classroom. Oh. Oh. I've spent so much time here. Fan! Fan! Ebenezer, I've come to take you home. I don't want to go home, Fan. But you have to. We all miss you so much. Even father. Yes, Ebenezer, even father. He's got much kinder than he used to be. You miss her, don't you? Every day. She had a son, Fred, but... I lost contact with him many years ago. It is time to move on. Where are we now, spirit? This is one of the many Christmas parties your old boss, Mr. Fesserwig, used to hold. The first one you attended. Years before he died, and you took over the house. Mr. Fesserwig's Christmas party. But that means... Hello. Are you a friend of Mr. Fesserwig? I am. Are you? Yes. I'm Brian. I didn't know Mr. Fesserwig knew anyone called Brian. It's actually Ebenezer Scrooge, but that's quite embarrassing, isn't it? I think it's a good name. Really? Yeah. Would you like to dance? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm not really a good dancer, but... Okay. There is another Christmas night with her. Perhaps the one you remember best. Oh, please, spirit. Do not show me that Christmas. I release you from your promise. I can't marry someone who would rather sit and count his money than to actually be with me. Goodbye, Ebenezer. I hope you find happiness someday. But I love you, Belle. You did. Once. I never saw her again. The next spirit will be here shortly. Don't go, spirit.
Are you the ghost of Christmas present? I am indeed. I'd imagine you to be, uh... Smaller? <laughs> that can be arranged. Now that we meet eye to eye, there is something I must show you. Can't we just uh, stay in instead and you can simply tell me about the current Christmas? Or maybe we should get some sleep. I'm, uh, I'm sure that you're tired and all, you know, from the traveling. Ebenezer Scrooge! You have been given one chance to redeem yourself from a fate worse than you can imagine. I suggest you do some shots. Where are we? Who lives here? Your employee. Cratchit? Let me see. They're happy, but how can it be? They have so little. Happiness can't be measured in money or material things. Before we eat, let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this meal, we thank you for your love, and we pray to you for our dear tiny Tim. Let him be healthy, Lord. We would also like to thank the provider of this meal, Mr. Scrooge. Amen. Ebenezer Scrooge? That greedy, blood-sucking shadow of a man has never done anything good for us. If I got to hang of him, I would. Honey, let's not fight. It's Christmas. You're right, darling. It's just sometimes I get so frustrated by him. I know, dear. I know. Now, who is up for some turkey? Will the boy get better? Will Tiny Tim live? He will not, unless something changes in the future. What is this place, Spirit? It looks like... A cemetery? This is the place where our paths separate. The ghost of Christmas yet to come will be here soon. Wait, Spirit! You look... Older. I live for and represent one year, and one year only. Like my brothers before me, soon I will be gone. Take wisdom from what I have shown you, Ebenezer.
Are you the ghost of Christmas yet to come? Well? It isn't fair. It isn't fair. Spirit, please tell me these events can yet be changed. Ebenezer Scrooge. Please, Spirit, why show me all of this if it was too late? Please, Spirit, give me a second chance. And Spirit, please, give me a second chance. I beg you. No, Spirit. No, no, Spirit. Spirit, 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 Give me a second chance. I beg you. No, Spirit. I'll change. I'll change. I promise I'll change. Spirit. I'm back home. I'm back home. <laughs> I'm alive and I'm well being. The spirits have given me a second chance. <laughs> you see. Hello, Mrs. Stilva. <coughs> Mrs. Stilva, I want you to tell me this very instant what day it is. Christmas Day? Okay then. I want to wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas, Mrs. Stilva. And many of them! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I feel as, as light as a feather, <laughs> as merry as a schoolboy. <laughs> I got so much to do, so much to do. But where to start, where to start, I don't even know where to start. Why are we so honoured with your presence? I have some more paperwork for you. But it's Christmas Day, sir. Humbug! Christmas Day is just another excuse for being lazy, cratchit. But it's full of toys. <laughs> and food is on the way. <laughs> but that's not all now, Peter. I'm giving you a race and I'm making you my partner. I hope that you'll accept my apologies and that time might build a friendship between us. Of course it will, sir. Would you like to sit down while we wait for food? I consider it an honour. Thank you. God bless us, everyone.